Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift Programming Logic tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the device's unique ID. So, this is basically an ID which the, every device has, and unfortunately, it will change when you uninstall the app and um, you know reinstall it. But apart from that, this can be used to identify different users if your um, database program doesn't have a user ID function. But most of them do. But I'm just going to show you guys how to get the unique device ID uh, in Swift. So basically it's called the identifier for vendor and it's basically what it says so it's the identifier for vendor if we just do let unique id and we'll do this so you have to do ui device dot current dot identifier for vendor dot uh, uid string and this is basically a unique uh, ID and it actually works on simulators which is surprising because usually stuff like this doesn't work on simulators like usually you need to connect an actual device but I guess this time it works so yeah you can see this is the unique ID and I wonder if it will change if I bring out a different simulator so I'm just going to bring out an iPhone SE and we'll see if the thing changes so it should be the same every time I launch it but I mean should be the same if it's on like a different thing but so you can see that is that this is the one for the SE and I'll just copy this and paste it uh, SE and if I run it again let's see if we get the same one and yep yeah, that's the same one and then if I do it on the iPhone 12 mini and I don't actually remember what it was on the 12 mini but uh, we'll see so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Uh, let's just do it anyway. So this is the iPhone 12 mini. And now, I guess, you can see that they're different. But now, let's just switch back to the iPhone SE. And let's see if we get this one. Uh, we should, but, you know. So yeah, there we go. This is the same. And so yeah, this is how you get a unique ID for the device if you want to check, like, have a unique ID for each user. Unfortunately, it does get reset when the user deletes the app, so be wary of that. But apart from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye!